Adelaide Airport is facing one of the biggest challenges in its history, and it begins with a move that feels almost unbelievable. To protect its future, the airport must demolish an important part of its own terminal. This is not happening because the structure is damaged or unsafe. It is happening because the airport has reached a point where it can no longer handle the growing number of people passing through it every year. The only way to survive the pressure is to remove this section and use the space to rebuild something bigger, smarter, and far more advanced. This marks the beginning of a huge and risky mission known as Project Flight. Project Flight is a $600 million plan that aims to completely reshape the way Adelaide Airport works. Engineers are preparing to attach 17,000 square meters of brand new building space to a terminal that is already packed with activity. This expansion is not a simple upgrade. It is a massive gamble because every day of construction must happen without interrupting the airport's normal operations. To understand why the situation became so serious, we have to go back to when Terminal 1 opened in 2005. At that time, it was seen as a major success. It was modern, efficient, and built to be a new gateway for South Australia. But over the years, the airport became too popular for its own good. Adelaide kept growing, tourism increased, more people started flying for work, family visits, and holidays. Little by little, the terminal that once felt huge started filling up faster than anyone expected. By 2019, just before the world temporarily shut down, the airport was already handling more than 8.5 million passengers each year. This sharp rise pushed planners to create the 2019 Airport Master Plan, a document that studied the traffic levels and tried to predict what would happen in the future. The forecasts showed a future explosion in passenger numbers that the current terminal could never survive. According to the plan, by the year 2039, the airport would need to manage 19.8 million passengers every year. This is more than double the volume the airport had in 2019. By 2025, passenger numbers had smashed earlier records, reaching around 8.7 million travelers. The airport was already operating at the edge of its capacity, and the signs of strain were everywhere. Crowded lines, limited space, overflowing areas where travelers waited, checked in, or collected their bags. Every part of the airport felt tight, and the team knew it could not continue like that for long. This is why Project Flight became the only answer. With a budget of $600 million, it is the most ambitious plan the airport has ever attempted. It is not just an improvement, it is a rescue plan designed to protect Adelaide's future growth and prevent the airport from reaching complete gridlock. As construction on Project Flight begins, engineers are stepping into one of the most difficult building environments imaginable, a fully operating airport. Unlike a normal construction site, where workers can close off large areas and move equipment freely, Everything at Adelaide Airport must be done while planes are landing, passengers are checking in, and workers are moving in and out of secure areas. This type of construction is far more complicated than building on an empty piece of land. Because the risks are so high, the managing contractor, B6 Wattpack, had to find a smarter way to prepare. They have spent 15 years working with the airport, so they understand how delicate the environment is. Before a single worker arrived on the site, the entire project was built inside a computer. This digital version is far more advanced than a simple 3D drawing. It uses a technique called 4D planning, where the fourth dimension is time. This means the team can simulate the entire construction schedule from start to finish. With the digital plans approved, the first major job of Project Flight started, the demolition of the Southern Ramp. This ramp was once a key drop-off road that brought travelers right to the entrance of the terminal. Cars, taxis, and buses used it every day. But now, it stands in the way of the new expansion. Removing it is a huge operation because the ramp is made of heavy concrete and sits just meters away from the active terminal building. Crews must tear it down without damaging the structure beside it, without shaking the terminal too much, and without interrupting the constant flow of passengers. Once the ramp is gone, the team can build a new check-in hall that will add 1,500 square meters of space. It will increase the airport's check-in capacity by 25% and give passengers more room to move and line up. This new space will become the home of the airport's updated baggage handling system, an enormous machine hidden deep under the terminal floor. It moves thousands of bags every hour, 
carries them across long conveyor networks, scans them for safety, and sends them to the right aircraft. Upgrading this system is one of the most complicated parts of Project Flight because the airport cannot stop using it, not even for a single day. To make this possible, the team must remove old conveyor lines, add new technology, and connect everything together while the airport continues to operate. This means many activities will likely take place at night when fewer flights are moving. One of the biggest upgrades inside the system involves installing five new CT scanners. These machines use hospital-grade computed tomography technology to create 3D images of every checked bag. They are much larger than the older 2D scanners, which makes the installation challenging. But to make the entire process smarter, the airport is also adding a new software system called Bagware. This software acts like the brain of the baggage network. After a bag is scanned, the system reads the 3D image, confirms it is safe, and then tells the conveyor system exactly where to send it. Bagware can track every bag in real time, which is extremely important for keeping the airport running smoothly. It also allows the airport to add future upgrades, like an early bag store, where bags checked in many hours before a flight can be safely stored and released later at the perfect time. This advanced CT technology will not only improve the checked baggage system, it will also transform the experience for passengers going through airport security. By the end of 2025, all the security lanes will be replaced with new 3D X-ray machines and new body scanners. As the heart of Project Flight keeps advancing, the airport finally moves into the most visible phase, the physical expansion of the terminal itself. These new sections will shape the airport for the next generation of travelers, making room for more flights, more gates, and more people. The first major structure to take shape will be the 10,000 square meter northern terminal expansion, scheduled to begin in early 2026. This new northern wing has been designed by Bow Culture and Populous, and it will become the home of new domestic gate lounges and multiple new air bridges. These air bridges will allow passengers to walk directly from the terminal into the aircraft without stepping onto the tarmac, which makes boarding safer and smoother. But the northern wing is only one half of the expansion. In early 2027, construction will move across the terminal to the southern side, where another huge structure, 5,500 square meters, will be added. The final piece of Project Flight involves building nine new aircraft parking bays, known as aprons. These are not just simple paved areas. They are heavy-duty engineering structures designed to hold planes that can weigh hundreds of tons. On a hot day, a heavy aircraft will sink into normal asphalt, damaging both the pavement and the plane. To prevent this, the lead design consultant, Oricon, and the head contractor, Downer, use a construction method called rigid pavement, which is made from thick, high-strength concrete. These concrete slabs can be up to half a meter thick and are specially designed to resist the extreme weight and pressure of modern aircraft. They also must be strong enough to withstand jet fuel spills, which can damage weaker pavement types. Altogether, this multi-stage expansion carries a price tag of $600 million, placing it among some of Australia's most significant ongoing construction projects. And now, as all these pieces come together, the airport stands on the edge of a new chapter, waiting to welcome the next generation of travelers with a smarter, stronger, and more resilient design.